हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अमृता सी सैप और द अमृता काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस फॉर सीट अलॉटमेंट एंड देर आर लॉट ऑफ क्वेरीज फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द स्लैब सिलेक्शन अपग्रेड इन द अदर प्रोसेस सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट आई विल क्लियर ऑल योर डाउट्स एंड द कंप्लीट काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस नाउ एकेडमिक प्रिफरेंस सबमिशन राइट एंड यू कैन चूज अप टू फिफ्टी वन कॉम्बिनेशन राइट That that is a maximum limit a student can put seven campuses are there eighteen branches are available within that you can put fifty one combinations that is the maximum limit. So when you say academic preference, it can be preference like course and campus. So some examples are like since this X also except for other non engineering courses, it could be anything like B Sc Cardiac at Faridabad. B.Sc. Agriculture at Coimbatore campus, B.E. B. Pharma at Kochi Ramprita Puri campus, and so on. Right. So academic preference is just course and the campus combination. It does not include any fee slab information. So this type of fifty one combinations you can do right without selecting any slab. So fifty one was actually a good number of choices. It was given to you. But what about slab? How do I select slab one, slab two, slab three, or slab four of the fee structure? The answer is that you don't need to select slab. System will automatically select best slab for you, and then you can upgrade. And I will explain the complete upgrade process. It's quite uh, easy, and it will work best in your advantage, right? So the question some students will have: What about my choice, right? If I am allotted any particular seat, right? I am ready to pay more for the uh, for more and get even better seat than that. And some will say, I don't want to pay more. I am I want to fix my slab because that is my uh, cap capability that I don't want to pay more than that. Otherwise, I will take a decision in some other uh, college, right? So that type of questions will be there. How do I fix slab or I change slab, right? So that is the answer which I am going to give in the complete view. I will first try with the first scenario. First scenario is candidates allotted their first academic preference in fee slab one. That means this student is the most happiest student because he got his first academic preference which he has given, and that also in the first slab. That means he is very very happy and he does not need to further participate in any second round of counselling. so what this student who got first academic preference in first fee slab he should pay he should accept and pay 1 lakh as a partial advance fees that is he is accepting the college and then he should confirm the seat by paying the remaining fees after few days again the deadline will be given so that he will pay the complete fees and for him the counseling process is over if he does not pay the second installment also in time Uh, then also the offer will be cancelled. You have to pay advance one lakh rupees plus remaining amount within the time which is given. Now this is the scenario two. Second scenario, candidate allotted any academic preference in slab one. That means he has not got the first academic preference, but he he got the first fee slab. For example, a candidate has got the preference number fifth. Right, you got the preference number fifth from the top. And fee slab is one, so you are happy with the fee slab, but preference number is fifth. But you wanted the first preference number or any other higher preference number. Then you have many options. This student who got fifth preference in fee slab one, his option number one is that if he is satisfied, accept and pay one lakh rupees and confirm to pay the remaining fees. That means you are joining this same fifth preference in fee slab one. But he has another option, which is option two, that he accepts, he pays one lakh rupees, but now he chooses upgrade. That means he will wait for better option in the next round. He will wait for the better option in the next round, but he has paid the fees of one lakh rupees. Now he is the third type of student, third student, third type of students who got allotted any preference. in any fee slab that means he got the fifth preference that is okay but he got that also in the fee slab which is very high fees but he wanted in the lower fees and better preference then also he can accept by paying 1 lakh rupees fees and then choose upgrade before the deadline so you want to understand what is the meaning of upgrade upgrade can be to a higher academic preference or upgrade can be to a lower fee slab 
within the same branch so these are the two type of upgrades and if payment is not made in any situation your offer will be cancelled automatically and you will be out of csap and i'll explain this upgrade more detail later in this video so be connected now what are the different type of upgrade options so there are three type of upgrades a move to a higher academic preference no fee restriction that means you want to say that i want to move from the fifth preference to the first preference i am not bothered about the fee slab even if i get from fee slab number 1 to fee slab number 2 it is okay to me if i get from slab number 2 to slab number 3 that is okay to me because i want higher academic preference okay now there is second type of upgrade now this is the b move to the higher academic preference with max slab fee so student is saying that move me to higher i am ready to pay the higher slab fee which is i am ready to pay fee slab 3 and that is fine with me this type of uh, students are basically saying that they are open to paying the highest fee to get a better branch now there is a third type of student c move to th or third type of upgrade basically so c type of upgrade is move to higher academic preference within the currently allotted fee slab so student will say no i want to pay only slab 1 fees if we possible move me to the higher academic preference in the next round so they don't want to change the fees they are fixed with the fees so these are students who want to move to only academic preference but the fee slab remains fixed so these students will be moved only if newer higher preference is available in same or the lower fees but they cannot be charged higher fee slab for example you are in fee slab 2 so you can only move to another preference if you get slab 2 or slab 1 but you will not be forced to pay for slab 3 or you will not be changed your branch will not be changed so in if no higher preference is available in the same or lower fee slab then you will retain same branch whatever you get but lower fee slab now then is the next type of upgrade which is move to lower fee slab without changing academic preference that means student is happy to stay in the same branch that means fifth preference what you got that is what you wanted fifth preference right but move to a lower fees you want to move to lower fees from slab number 3 to slab number 2 and what you need upgrade is from slab number 2 to slab number 1 that is your goal but you don't want to change the branch so those are the all different type of upgrades which is possible in amrita university candidates not allotted in round 1 can change academic preference before round 2 right and uh, only those students can change preference because they have not allotted any seat in round 1 and csa registration reopens after round 1 and closes 2 be 2 days before the round 2 allotment so this type of uh, not allotted student should notice this timelines also that's all in this video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates on it